Hi, my name is Chef Jesse McDonald, and today we are going to be talking about Canadian seafood. The topic of our conversation is going to be buying and storing shellfish. And the two products that we're going to focus in on today are blue mussels as well as soft shell clams. There are a few things that you're going to want to look for in the grocery store as well as a few formats that you are going to see these products sold in. The first and the most common are, as you see in front of us, are um, live or fresh um, as they would be referred to. You can find these products in your local supermarket in your shellfish or seafood section and these will often be in netted bags or plastic and have been harvested very recently and are best used um, as soon as possible. So when you are in the grocery store you will also see some varieties of both mussels and clams that come in a vac sealed container. The final way that you're going to find this product in the grocery store is you sometimes can also find it frozen. The one thing you should always keep in mind and be conscious of when selecting seafood from your local grocery store is ensuring that the product is marked as either caught or harvested in Canada. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the mussels and clams individually. Um, we want to make sure that we're picking out any undesirable um, shellfish of both of the varieties and what we're looking for with the mussels, you're going to see some of these with you know broken shells, the meat inside is dried out obviously, this one is dead. Same with this one, it's, you can see that it's opened up slightly, however on the far side you can tell that it's, all the meat has moved to one side, that's usually evidence that it's dried out and dead. So again, you're going to want to uh, discard all the ones that are undesirable or open um, as far as the mussels go because they can not only cause an undesirable flavor while you're cooking with them, um, you can actually cause the other mussels in your batch to go bad a little quicker by leaving these mixed in with the mussels that are still um, good. The clams are slightly different. Um, what you will see with clams is they will open up from time to time, especially on the um, tongue side of the clam, as you can see. This happens when they are looking for food out of water. Obviously, they're filter feeders, so they're looking for some a little bit of nourishment however you will also see them open up on the wrong side like this guy and he is dried out as you can see and it's from the side that is not the tongue so you know that uh, again this guy is dead you're not going to want to use him while you're cooking um, so you're going to toss him to the side when we go back to the mussels the one difference with these sh uh, shellfish is that clams really like the sandy bottom um, as opposed to mussels who like the sandy bottom but they appreciate some rock cover around as well. So because of this, the outside of mussel shells are going to have some barnacles and a little bit of beard or um, sort of deciduous matter that you want to discard. It can cause a little bit of bitterness when you're cooking with it, but again, you don't have to obsess over this. The ones you have to be the most careful of are the ones that have the beard attached on the inside of the shell. Because they're still connected to the muscle meat itself, this can be, cause an undesirable flavor while cooking the shellfish itself. So at this point, once we go through both varieties individually, separate all the usable ones from the ones that are non-usable, then we are either ready to cook with the product itself or we're ready to store them in the refrigerator for use at a later time. If we were going to store them in the refrigerator, I have two damp kitchen cloths here that I'm just going to place over the top of the seafood for allow a little bit of airflow to the products itself, but the little bit of moisture is going to help extend that shelf life so that you're using the freshest product as possible when you go to utilize both your mussels and clams in your cooking application.